But for a long time growing up, I viewed being a follower of Christ as you can't do this, you can do this. These are your restrictions and limitations of what's good and what's bad. Um, but I didn't think there was any freedom in that. And I was afraid that in doing that, I would be handing over my individuality and my identity. Um, so I kind of put that off and just walked in the world and lived a very secular life. And it never fulfilled me, it never sustained me. And I could vividly hear God in a couple instances, just be like, are you done? Like, are you ready to give your life over to me? Are you ready to let me have control? And I would literally tell him no. Um, because I wasn't sure that in doing that, it would turn out the way that I wanted it to turn out. You know, there has been a lot of talk that I've received just about, you know, you may not want to talk so much about that. You might lose endorsements, you might lose deals, this, that, and the third. But I mean, I don't live for the approval of people. So I don't have to worry about any of those things. And even if an endorsement or something wants to leave, I know that God will provide for me in the way he sees fit. So I'm not gonna compromise the truth just to make people feel more comfortable.